Hi, my name is Neb Kamus Sen Atumbri, and this is the tenth part of the video Shamba Allah the Underworld. I try to raise your consciousness so that when the ship returns on the 12th of August 2003 of the Gregorian calendar, when the gate of the great vortex will reopen and this planet called Earth positions itself in the revolution, in the location of the revolution of the planets and they are all in a line, planetary alignment as on the 6th of May 2000 of the Gregorian calendar you will be ready you have psychic powers you must learn to use them I was bred for you I come from a star fleet of people that are scientists and astrologers they are the ones who keep the Akasha records they keep the logs of everything that takes place in all the planets because we know the formula of the chemistry of the human body we know how to alter molecules and dematerialize through magnetism and the tetrahedron science matters by using magnetism we use the parts of the human brain that are not being used and live in parts of their cells that they don't use as yet. We can incarnate into anybody we want at any given time. This is how it was done on behalf of myself. He said, and then I saw a little black copper toned baby and I went into his body and he became the son of justice called Rabboni Yeshua Bar El Hari. I visited the planet three times. There, the principalities in high places try to eliminate the birth of any supreme being by an injection with a hypodermic needle into the base of the brain with a drug called PCP phenyl cyclohexyl piperidine called angel dust that which can reduce an angelic being to mere dust injected into the hippocampus area in order to deaden the baritary gland in order to prevent this this child must be born 12 midnight in the midst of a lightning storm as a shield and this is why his mother and relatives cited the presence of the great star on that Tuesday, 12 midnight, June 26, 1945. The weather filled with an overcast of clouds and rain, which is a perfect cover for a mission. We did not reinsert it, the baritary gland, into the hippocampus part of the brain this time, but in the lower part of the chin referred to as the submental, sub meaning lower and mental meaning that which reacts with the mind. There was no need for the replacement of an appendix because the appendix was there and would not be removed, nor tonsil as in the case of others, we would have to replace their baritary gland in the submental area, the lower part of the chin. If the tonsils are removed, we have to replace them. And if their appendix is removed, replace and reactivate them, unlike the case of this child. Then the child was right to make way for my entrance. I visited. August 6, 1945, when you bombed Hiroshima, Japan. And August 9, 1945, when you bombed Nagasaki, Japan. It became apparent 
that these beings of earth were on a path of self-destruction, playing with atomic power. So I arrived on the 17th of September of the same year to a galactic meeting held on earth and on the child's 25th birthday, which is June the 26th, 1970 of the Gregorian calendar. When I made direct contact and implanted my total self into his being, you see, quote, the first time I arrived, I came as a force, an etheric being. While his mother was pregnant, certain nerves in the brain of the child were altered so that the child would be able to receive a higher intellect, an intellect higher than normal earth beings who have their barbary glands removed. The earth beings will one day have it replaced if they don't destroy themselves. They, use, they will use more of their brains for they have a light body, a spiritual body, a mental body, and an etheric body. My assignment is to spiritually re-educate the beings of the planet Earth who are the children of the Anunnaki and to replace or to prepare the 144,000 to be taken up for 1,000 years, then returned to save the planet. Indeed, those who will purify themselves with realignment will succeed and they will board the Crystal City where they will be taught and they will come forth prepared as King of Kings and Lord of Lords, called rulers of those who rule now and masters of those who teach now. Unquote. Are you listening, people? Do you really fully understand what this means? Every ruler of every continent, country, state, town, city, parish, county, ward on planet Earth will have to step down and step out of the way and allow this new breed of black gods to take over their rulership, their kingdom, to take possession of the entire planet Earth. Hello? Now do you get it? And the beast man, understandably, wants to keep what he conquered, to keep what he killed. But the cycles have changed. The sun people must rule the sun cycle. They, the moon people, ruled the moon cycle, which is ended. So there, have, there was a desperate worldwide conspiracy by all of the sons of Canaan who are presently in power, in world domination, to stop this Malachi Z. York fellow and this mission. Even though we would be bringing back riskian technology, giving earthlings intergalactic, interdimensional capabilities, using delta energy or the third field. However, or hovercrafts instead of automobiles. The utilization of the planetary energy grids and blast electricity instead of primitive hydro and turbo electricity. The utilization of the star gateways and the black holes instead of airplanes and rocket ships, but they are fighting desperately to hold on to ignorance because ignorance is bliss. Quote, nine ether represents birth, conception as in nine and birth, the sum total of numbers. There are no numbers 
actually higher than nine. Nuaubu means to convey a message that results in sound right reasoning. So there must be a conveyor and a listener of the message. The message is life, the conveyor is existence. Nine ether is the combination of all existing gases of nature. Nothing anywhere can be as powerful as all existing gases. Nine ether is conscious and conscience gases. The melaninites, the original woolly haired, dark skinned moors came along with the original creation. That is the same kind of ether forces that grew the universe. As nature was growing, these melaninites were a part of the original growth. Melanin grew with original creation. To come along with a thing is to grow with or within it. Nine ether are nine points from ether one in hydrogen on into nine elements, the eighth being oxygen for life. This dot, Nagut, is the point of origin of things, the first sum. Thus, the melaninites and their original descendants are the personification of the original creative forces. Who? Seven in all. As the seven species of Rispians, you have seven species of melaninites or Nuaubians or called Negroes. And you have three species of mongoloids and two species of caucasoids, all growing out of the original Nuaubians. Simply, these melaninites created the universes in their etheric form. Nine ether then personified themselves in flesh and blood beings, as flesh and blood beings. They became human beings from atoms to atom. There are two kinds of ether, nine ether and six ether in human form. Nine ether negroid produced six ether Caucasians and six ether produced ghosts. Death, not to be mistaken with the, e the ether of here. This, that range from six, seven, eight, and nine here texture, from flat to hollow to round, Nine ether will become six ether through time and age or die. Six ether becomes ghost through time and age. Six ether albinos is nine ether, Nuabian in death, and ghost is the death of six ether. After the death of six ether, nine ether resurrects again. Six ether is the moon, nine ether is the sun. Hence, six ether Caucasians is adverse to nine ether Negroes, just as death is adverse to life. All this takes place within the all. Taken from Holy Tablets, chapter 1, tablet 1, verses 15 through 9, 28. Now do you understand? By nature, Caucasians are adverse, meaning hostile, unfavorable, Harmful to Nubians, period. Just watch the news. Quote, this is how the events of creation and procreation were recorded when life existed in and beyond the stars. The all is, was, and will be felt within a love, a divine love that is unknown or felt by disagreeable beings and thus emotions were. At the first birth of emotion was the birth of motion. Unquote. Holy Tablets, chapter 1, tablet 1, verses 41 and 42. What this quote is saying is Caucasians do not know or even feel divine love. Watch the news. They are showing their true natures. So, being an adverse force, 
they will destroy or corrupt or assassinate any positive, productive black icon without conscience or remorse because there is no soul or seat of emotions in them. Just watch these masters of destruction at work, pure evil, as they totally annihilate Bill Cosby's character, who was lovingly known as the father or the dead of America from his worldwide popular TV sitcom, The Cosby Show. Their adverse nature prompts them to stomp out all black role models. They will not allow you to transition or die, leaving a positive black legacy. Watch Bill Cosby. Apparently, he is their next. He is next on their list. And because of penis envy, they continue to destroy the Nubian male with a sex scandal. A deposition is always enforced when they have no real evidence against you. They will entrap you in the deposition and then use that against you in their court of law. Meaning, if they really want you, hook or crook, they will get you. No facts, no evidence, just hearsay. 15, 20, 30 years after the fact and using media hype to gain support from the public. That is the same tactic, the same modus operandi they used in the Dwight York hearing. Just us, not justice, just us, meaning them. Then they celebrated, partied heartily, high-fiving and patting each other on the backs passing out awards for handling the, 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 the Nawabian problem, who they say, quote, was taking away our niggers, unquote. They were just innate country simpletons, country bumpkins, not yet savvy, not yet mentally liberated to the advanced technology of human cloning. They know now, 13 years later, but back then, they were fueled only by their jealous, adverse natures, triumphantly proclaiming, quote, finally, we cut this nigger. He will rot in jail, unquote. So, they held one of their notorious closed court, shotgun, lynch mob trials, in a secluded back country courthouse of Brunswick, Georgia, USA, on Martin Luther King's birthday. The courthouse was inundated and surrounded by a heavily armed black ops team in tight formation. They were in there deep. They came in heavy and the public was barred from the courtroom as if they were expecting a firefight from an army of Anunnaki Elohim who would come down to rescue one of their own. Don't be stupid, Conan. That is too primitive. But meteorite showers, tornadoes, hurricanes, storms, earthquakes, floods, Landslides, now you're talking. There's no defense. Ta, mu, nifu, set. Everything the Anunnaki does is on a level way beyond your reach. Too short. Refer to our video, Black History. What? Nubians? Indigenous people? Oh no, we can't have that. So there in Brunswick, Georgia, they adroitly manipulated their judicial system with a mock trial and sentenced a clone, Dwight York, accused of child molestation for 144 years 
in mockery of the 144,000 pure purified souls that are still being raised thinking that it was a done deal thinking that they had the grandson of Anu Alun Alun El the ruler of the Anunnaki the commander of the fleets of Nibiru the ruler of Malakut the mental plane the realm of the angelic beings oh, oh what fools these mortals in the flesh be now you don't have to believe this update your prerogative but now you have the rest of the story so the studying will be under Tammuz who will then be known as Sananda. Many simply say Christ, their Savior, who is the real Messiah for 1,000 years or one day, then to return to planet Kri to save many others who will listen and remember the name Anu of your rap sustainer and seek to realign themselves or do you prefer the life of this planet? Your kingdom come on earth as it is in Orion. For the great day of the rapture will come for those aligned where they will be taken aboard the great craft. There to be taught by Sonan.